All right. Now uh, we will look into the third type of the particular integral. type 3 so in this case the yp will be of the following type we already know that this is going to be represented in the format y of x divided by f of d right in case of type 3 the phi of x is going to be of the following type it which is a polynomial It's a polynomial in X. So, for example, the phi of X could be a n into X to the power n plus a n minus 1 X to the power n minus 1 dot dot dot. We can have a n minus 1. Uh, not n minus 1, sorry. It's just a1 a1 x to the 1 plus some a0. We can have the polynomial of this type. a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2, like that. a1, a0, etc. are constants. Right? The x to the power n, it's a nth order equation. So, we can have x to the power 4, x to the power 3, and so on. Okay, so now here the solution, right, is you, you, we have to find, find the solution by doing what is called as synthetic division. So yp can be found by performing the synthetic division right now let's see example how to uh, get the uh, answer that is yp by performing the synthetic division so before we go to the synthetic division, uh, actual problem of solving a differential equation, we will take some example just to understand the process of the uh, synthetic division. Okay, all right. So let's take an example. So let's say we got yp as uh, some polynomial. The polynomial, let's assume we got 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. This thing divide by it is d squared plus 3 times d plus 2. All right. Let's assume that this is what we got. Now, how to perform this? In order to perform this, our approach is right this. What we do? We try to uh, first write the denominator in the increasing order of the power of d. That is let me write in this way. This, this makes the process easier. That's why I'm writing in this way, the fashion. Okay, so 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 whole divided by this is 2 plus 3d plus d squared. Once we get this, now we need to do the division, right? So the division happens in the following fashion. So let me write the denominator over here. This is 2 plus 3d plus d squared. I have this and I want to perform a division. So I'll write the numerator inside this. That is 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. Now it's like a normal division only. Right? I have to, I have 2 here. I have to get a 2x squared here so that it gets cancelled. And I multiply by 2, right, to this. So what I do, I write x square over here. This means I'm multiplying 2 into x square, which is 2x square. But during this process, all the other terms will also get multiplied. That is, 3d will also get multiplied with the x square. But I know that 
d refers to the differentiation so i have to perform 3 times d by dx of x square this is what is happening so x square d means once i need to differentiate so multiply that by 3 so 3 times d of x square is nothing but 3 into differentiation of x square is 2x so initially we can write here but later on it's not necessary because we will be familiar with the uh, process okay 3 into 2x so that will be 6x so what i'm going to write here this will be plus 6x then d square of x square d square of x square is nothing but i'll keep one d outside one d i apply to x square which gives me 2x then differentiation of 2x is 2 so this is plus 2 once we write this we need to subtract right so 2x square 2x square will cancel i don't have to write it now 4x minus 6x will be minus 2x then plus 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 is minus 1 now you see i have 2 and i need minus 2x so i need to multiply this by minus x once again the process repeats 2 into minus x is minus 2x then 3d into x 3d into minus x 3 times the differentiation of minus x differentiation of minus x is minus 1 so minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 now if i do the next one that is d square of minus x that becomes 0 that's why i have a term coming up which is 0 here all right so i subtract so 2x minus 2x will cancel with the minus 2x so this is minus 1 plus 3 that will be equal to 2 so 2 plus 0 it's just 2 now i start with 2 2 into plus 1 is 2 now you see 3d into 1 means that is 0 so once the differentiation becomes 0 double differentiation is definitely 0 so after this i have 2 plus 0 plus 0 which means i got 0 as my answer right no reminder now after the division is complete without any reminder now the answer is going to be the quotient obtained in this whole process of division will be considered as the answer so that means once you divide the numerator by denominator this is the answer so you see here in this case what we write therefore the yp of this particular problem is x square uh, minus x plus 1 so you see we got an equation in terms of uh, x itself so this can be considered as the standard y p of the given problem okay in this case we we didn't solve the whole problem we just uh, took a y p part only and we solved. okay later on we'll solve the problems uh, the complete problems so so the complete solution of uh, differential equation where we have to first solve the yc and then we'll solve for yp and yc plus yp will be our answer all right okay before that let's go for another question of similar type all right so in this example let me take uh let me say this is the yp yp is equal to let's say x square minus 3 into x plus 1 all divided by this is dq minus d squared so in the sense in my first step i have to convert this into the standard format where the denominator is arranged in the increasing order or increasing power of d right so that's why i'll write numerator as it is x square minus 3x plus 1 all divided by this is minus d square plus d cube all right so this means so i'll write it in the required format so first i write the denominator minus d square plus d cube then i'll write the numerator that is x square minus 3x plus 1 all right now the point here is that 
I should get x square here. Okay, so that is whatever I'm going to write here, right? Let me call that as a, some a I'm going to calculate. So minus d square of that a should be x square. So I'll write the point here. That means minus d square of that whatever a I'm writing should be equal to x square. Right? So now you know that the d square refers to what? d square refers to the differentiation twice. So this implies we need to do some calculation now. The a is equal to the d square goes to other side as integration because I'm, I have to do the reverse of differentiation to get that. So this means it is minus double integration because two times I have to do the d, d square on this side. So d square goes to the other side as double integration. So x square dx into dx. So first perform that. So when I do this, right? So once I do the integration, now this is minus integral. x square is nothing but x cube by 3 into dx. So this is equal to, I still have the minus outside, x cube becomes x to the power 4 by, there is already a 3 into 4. So what is that a? a is minus x to the power 4 divided by 12. So that's how, when we don't have a constant starting over here, I have to do this kind of process, right? Little bit of calculation is needed, right? So let's say that this a is minus x to the power 4 divided by 4. Now I know already minus d square of x to the power 4 by 4 is already x square. I have calculated and I have written that. Uh, not, not 4, sorry. I think this is x to the power 4 by 12, right? Because that's what we have calculated over here. I got this part. Okay, but now I need to apply the d cube of this function. So d cube is nothing but one more differentiation of this term. Okay, so one more differentiation. I already have uh, x square, right? So this, I'll write this, d cube of minus x to the power 4 divided by uh, what is that? 12. That is equal to, already I know that d square of a is minus x square. So this is d of minus x square because second time differentiation will give me a minus x square. So once again you do the differentiation to get the third differential. So that is minus 2x. That means here I am going to write minus 2x. Alright, so this x square will cancel minus 3x minus of minus 2x which is plus 2x i'm going to get a minus x over here right and the plus one comes here okay minus x plus one now i need to do another calculation let me call that as b right that means minus d square of this b should be equal to minus x Correct. So let me do that calculation. So here I'll do this. This implies the minus d square of whatever b I'm going to write there is going to be minus x. So that refers to b is equal to see the minus minus will get cancelled. And I have b is equal to double integration of x dx dx. So what is that? This is integral of x square by 2 into dx. So x square by 2 integration is x cube divided by 3 into 2, so 6. Correct? Okay? So this is x cube by 6. That's the b. So I'll go back and I'll update. Sorry. I'll update the b. I'll remove the b from the equation and I, I'm going to write x cube by 6 over here. So this will be, it's a positive quantity. So this is plus x cube by 6. So I know that x cube by 6 is this itself. Okay, now 
what I am supposed to do, I am supposed to differentiate that once again. Okay, I know that minus d square of that is going to be minus x, which means d square of b is minus x. So, what should be d cube? It's a differentiation of x itself, which is 1. So, d cube of this into this is going to be how much? That will be plus 1. So, that is plus 1. So, the answer is equal to 0. So, you see that in this case, the yp becomes equal to minus of uh, x to the power 4 by 12 plus x cube divided by 6. Alright. So, in this fashion, we can solve the synthetic division type of problems. Okay, we just saw the synthetic division. Now we'll go for the actual problem which normally appears on our question papers. All right, so that is solve this is y double dash plus three times y dash plus two times y is equal to 12 x. Uh, okay, 12x squared. Okay, this is x squared, power 2. Alright, so I know that this can be directly written in the following fashion. Uh, I, I, I can write this as d square y by dx square plus 3 times dy by dx plus 2 times y is equal to 12x squared. Right, so first my objective is always to find the yc. yc in the sense make the rhs equal to 0 and write the auxiliary equation replace d by dx as capital D. So let's do that and write here. So that is d square plus 3d plus 2 into y is equal to 0. I, I make the rhs 0. So, I can write the auxiliary equation directly like this. That is m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. Alright. So, directly we can write the factors now. This is m plus 1 into m plus 2 equals to 0. This means we have two roots. m is equal to minus 1 and minus 2. So, as soon as I look at the roots of the auxiliary equation, I can identify that this belongs to case 1. Roots are real and distinct. So, as soon as the roots are real and distinct, I can write the yc is equal to a constant into e to the power first root into x. That is minus x plus second a constant, another constant into uh, this is e to the power second root minus 2 into x. All right, we got half of our answer. Next case, uh, what we are going to do now, I want to find the yp. So, we start with the standard equation of yp, that is the pi of x, which is the right hand side of the originally given differential equation, divided by the f of d. So, I, I remember that the given question has pi of x is 12 x squared divided by the f of d. I can look at the auxiliary equation the replace m by d to get the f of d. That is d squared plus 3d plus 2. Okay, now, so previously we just solved this part of the problem, but now we are solving the whole question. Okay, so this means now... I can write this is 2 plus 3d plus d square, the increasing power. And this is just 12x square. Okay, now I have 2, I need 12x square. So the numerator should be, sorry, the quotient should be 6x square. 2 into 6 is 12, x square becomes x square. But I, don't, I cannot stop here because there is a 3d times 6x squared. 
So I need to differentiate x square once, that is 2x, that should be multiplied by 3. So I have 3 into 6 into 2, so that should be 36. So plus 36x. Then I have d square into 6x square, right? Double differentiation of 6x square. 6x square differentiation is 12x. That's differentiation is 12. So I have plus 12 coming out. Now I know that this cancels. I am left with minus 36x minus 12. Because I am subtracting those two terms from 0. 0 minus any term is a negative term. Alright, now I have to multiply 2 with something to get it. 36 into x. So 2 into minus 18x becomes equal to minus 36x. I need to multiply that minus 18x into 3d now. 3 times the differentiation. Differentiation is going to give me uh, just 18, minus 18. Minus 18 into 3 is minus 54. Alright, this is cancelled. So minus 12, minus 54. Minus of minus 54 is plus 54. Minus 12 is 42. Right? I have 2 over there. So which means uh, 21 into 2 is 42 answer equal to 0. So now we can see that the y p in this case is 6 x square minus 18 x plus 21. Therefore the final answer y is equal to the y c plus y p. So y c we already have calculated that. So that is equal to a constant into e to the power minus x plus another constant e to the power minus 2x. Then the yp which we just calculated as 6x square minus 18x plus 21. This is the final answer. All right, let's proceed further. The next question. This is y double dash plus 2 into y dash plus y is equal to 2x plus x square. Now I can see that the right hand side of the equation is a polynomial that's why this belongs to the type 3 of solution of differential equation okay now I directly convert this I don't replace this with the d square directly I can write now we are very familiar with the steps so we should be in a position to write this directly so d square plus this is 2d plus 1 into y is equal to the 2x plus x square. Now my first step is to find the yc. What I do? I write the auxiliary equation. What is the auxiliary equation? That is d replace d by m. So this is m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. So I, I see that this is a perfect uh, square perfect polynomial right so i have uh, the roots uh, you, you can obtain the roots as m plus 1 the whole square equal to 0 this implies the roots are minus 1 comma minus 1 so as soon as i see this uh, these roots i understand that uh, it's it's going to fall into the second category Oh, in the table, it's the second case. So, uh, roots are real but repeated. How many times? Two times. When two times it is repeating, I'm going to write two terms here. That is C0 plus C1x, two terms over, into e to the power that 
root into x. So this is minus 1 into x. This is what is the yc. Okay, my next objective is to find yp. All right, so in order to find the yp, I need to divide now. So we'll write the standard equation yp is equal to the phi of x divided by f of d. So phi of x is, was the right hand side of the given equation, right? So if you remember, that will be x squared plus 2x. And the denominator is. I'll write in the required format only. So 1 plus 2d plus d square. Okay, now I need to do the synthetic division of this particular term. So let's do that. This is 1 plus 2d plus d square. And the term that is present inside this is x square plus 2x. So I have 1. 1 into x square will be the x square. So 2 times differentiation of x square will be 4x. And d square of x square will be, so 2x into uh, one more differentiation will give you a 2. So this is plus 2. So this gets cancelled. So 2 minus 4x is minus 2x minus 2. Next I have 1. I need to get a minus 2x. So I have to multiply by minus 2x. 1 into minus 2x is minus 2x. And 2 times differentiation of minus 2x will be. Differentiation of minus 2x is minus 2. Minus 2 into that 2 will be a 4 with minus sign. Okay, And d square of 2x will be 0. That's why we are not, not writing that. This is getting cancelled. We have minus 2, minus of minus 4 is plus 2. Okay, I had 1 over there. I need to multiply this with plus 2 to get a 2 over here so that it gets cancelled. Alright, so what is the meaning? This implies the yp of this particular question is x squared minus 2x plus 2. This is part 2. So therefore, the solution, final answer, y is equal to yc plus yp. So just check what is the yc. yc, we actually had written this as c0 plus c1x into e to the minus x plus this part, that is x squared minus 2x plus 2 is the final answer. All right, let's go to another question. This is the question. d cube plus 8 times y is equal to x to the power 4 plus 2x plus 1. Already it is given in the required format, so I don't have to do any simplification. Directly I can write to find the required yc. What I need? I need the auxiliary equation. That is m cube plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, we can do a factorization now. Or the, the easiest method is to use the calculator, put it in the uh, equations mode and solve a third degree equation. You can solve it, you get the roots, otherwise you, you have to factorize. Okay, the factors are, uh, the first factor will be m plus 2. You can take m plus 2 outside and you are going to left with, this is m square minus 2m plus 4, the product equal to 0. So this means uh, one of the, the m, m plus 2 equal to 0 is going to give me 1m, m is equal to minus 2 is one answer. 
otherwise I have m square minus 2m plus 4 equal to 0. So I know that this is a quadratic equation. I can find the two roots using m equal to the minus b that is plus 2 plus or minus under root b square. So 2 square is a 4 minus 4 into a into c. So 4 into 1 into 4 is 16. Whole divided by 2 into a. So 2 into 1 that is equal to this. So I can see that the two roots are uh, 2 plus or minus root of minus 12. So this is i into root of 12 divided by uh, 2. So root 12 can be written as a 4 into, yeah, 2 root 3. Okay, so this is 2 plus or minus i into 2 root 3 by 2. So this 2 will cancel with all of them. So the roots are 1 plus or minus i into root 3. So three roots and uh, I can see that first root is distinct and the second uh, and third roots are complex conjugates. So the answer falls into the first category of the table and the third category of our table. So let's apply them and let's uh, try to write the required equation. Okay, so that is uh, yc is equal to first one is a constant c1 into e to the power the first root that is minus 2x plus uh, it's the third case complex conjugate it should be e to the power e to the power real part real part is 1 so this is 1 into x into right I have to write another constant c2 cos q times x q is root 3 here so this is root 3 into x plus c3 sine of root 3 into x bracket close so you see this is the yc and we'll call this whole thing equation as equation number one okay now uh, to find yp I know standard yp can be calculated as the phi of x divided by f of d. So in this case, therefore, the yp is equal to, let me write the required uh, phi of x first, that is x to the power 4 plus 2 into x plus 1, whole divided by, this is 8 plus d cubed. Originally dq plus 8, but I need to write this in the increasing powers of d, right? So that's why it's this fashion. All right, let's do the synthetic division now. That is 8 plus d cube will come over here and x to the power 4 plus 2x plus 1 will come here. So, I have 8 here, but I want x to the power 4 coming here. That means what I should write here is x to the power 4 divided by 8. So, 8 into x to the power 4 by 8 is x to the power 4. Okay. Next term is third differentiation of x power 4 by 8. So, what I do? I'll write whatever is required, I'll write here. I need to calculate d cube of x to the power 4 divided by 8. This is nothing but d square of, differentiate this once, that is 4x cube by 8. This cancels with this as 2x cube by 2. So this is equal to differentiation of, one differentiation is remaining. Let me do this uh, first. That is x cube becomes 3x square by 2. Okay, that is equal to differentiate that. That is 3 into 2x by 2. So 2, 2 cancels. It is simply 3x. So this is plus 3x. 
So this cancels, it is minus x plus 1. I have 8 here, I have to get a minus x at any cost. That means I have to multiply this with minus of x by 8. All right, so that means this is gets cancelled. I have plus 1. I have 8 here. I need plus 1 over there. So should be multiplying by 1 by 8. 8 into 1 by 8 is 1. So the answer is equal to 0. So you can see that easily we got this answer. That is the yp is equal to x to the power 4 by 8 minus x by 8 plus 1 by 8. This will be the second equation for our reference and we are going to give the final answer that is y is equal to yc plus yp. So that is equal to yc if you remember we had written this as the c1 e to the power first root which was minus 2 that's why it is minus 2x plus e to the x into a constant that is c2 cos root 3x plus c3 into sine of root 3x this was the yc plus yp i can take 1 by 8 common this is x to the power 4 minus x plus 1 this whole thing is the required answer. All right, now let's proceed further to the next question. That is to solve d cube y by dx cube plus 2 times d square y by dx square plus this is dy by dx equal to x cube. All right, we make the required modifications uh, to convert this into the following case. This is d cube plus 2 into d square plus d whole multiplied by y is equal to x cube. So this is the given question now. All right. Now what I can do, I can simply multiply uh, or I, I, I can make the right, right hand side equal to 0 to calculate uh, the yc first. All right. So that is 2 to find yc. What I write, I'll write the auxiliary equation that is m cube plus 2m square plus m is equal to 0. So I can write this as m into this is m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. So this can be written as m into m plus 1 the whole square equal to 0. So what are the roots? m is equal to 0 comma minus 1 comma minus 1. We have three roots. Okay. The first root is real and distinct. Second and the third roots are real but repeated. Okay, so when we have real and repeated roots present over here, uh, the, the yc can be written as follows. So this is a real and uh, distinct root, a constant c1 into e to the power that root e to the power 0, which is 1. So I don't have to write. So this is second, second one, uh, that is c1 is already written, c2 plus c3x, two terms have to be written, then I'll write e to the minus x, okay, because minus 1 is a root, all right, so let's call this is equation 1, which is the yc, half of our answer. 
then my next objective is to calculate yp so in order to find yp standard equation yp is equal to phi of x divided by f of d for this given question the phi of x was simply x cube and the denominator i'm going to write with the increasing power of d so this is d plus 2 times d square plus d cube all right now let's do the synthetic division this is d plus 2 times d square plus d cube so this is uh, it's going to start with only x cube so i am going to write a a over there which is nothing but differentiation of that a should be x cube so that a will be integration of x cube so i have to do integration of x cube into dx so that will be x to the power 4 divided by 4 so i am going to write here x to the power 4 divided by 4 i know that this is going to give me the x cube but next term is nothing but two times double differentiation of this term once if you differentiate this once i am going to get x cube i already know that so differentiate that x cube once again that is 3x square 3x square into 2 so that's why this becomes equal to plus 6x square all right similarly i need to do the third differentiation that is d cube of this term so d cube of 6 uh, sorry x power 4 by 4 differentiation is going to give me first differentiation is nothing but x cube second differentiation is 3x square third differentiation is 6x so this is plus 6x so this will cancel minus 6x square minus 6x is what i'm going to get now so whatever is the second term that I'm going to write here should give me a minus 6x squared. So I'm supposed to do integration of minus 6x squared dx because differentiation of that should give me minus 6x squared. Okay, so this is minus 6x cubed by 3. So 3 will cancel with 6 as uh, 2. So this is minus 2 into x cubed. So, what I am writing here is minus 2x cube. Okay. So, the second term is 2 times double differentiation of minus 2x cube. I know that once if you differentiate, I get minus 6x square. Right. Differentiate that once again. It is minus 12x. All right. So, minus 12x into 2 is minus 24. So the next number is minus 24 into x. Then I need a third differentiation. So already it's right. I had 12. If you remember, I had minus 12x. So differentiation of that will be simply minus 12. Okay. So this cancels. It is uh, minus 6 plus 18. Plus 24 is 18. Sorry. That is plus 18x minus 12. So differentiation in the sense I need to do integral 18x dx. So x square by 2, 2 will cancel with this is 9. So this is 9x square. So my next number should be equal to plus 9x square. So this is going to be 18x second differentiation of that one first differentiation is 18 so into 2 so this is a plus this is plus this is plus 36 okay this 18 18 cancels and i have minus 24 
So if you want a minus 24 here, this should be integration of minus 24 dx that is equal to minus 24x. So my last part of this is minus 24x. I'm going to get this at the remainder as 0 in this case. Okay, so let me write the yp, therefore, yp in this case is equal to the x to the power 4 divided by 4 minus 2 times x cube plus this is 9 times x square minus 24 into x. This is equation number 2. So what we do now, we will uh, write the total answer y is equal to yc plus a yp. So that is equal to the yc was c1 plus a constant c2 plus c3x into e to the minus x. This was a part of uh, yc plus the yp is x to the 4 by 4 minus 2x cube plus 9x square minus 24x is the final answer. All right, then let's solve one more problem. The question is d cube y by dx cube plus d square y by dx square plus this is four times dy by dx plus four y is equal to the x square minus 4x minus 6. Okay, so directly we will write this in the required format that is directly being replaced with the d. So this is d cube capital D cube plus capital D square plus 4 times d plus 4 into y is equal to the right hand side that is x square minus 4x minus 6. Okay, now I will write the auxiliary equation in order to find the yc. So the auxiliary equation is going to look like m cube plus m square plus 4 times m plus 4 equals to 0. Okay, so in this case, I'll try to factorize directly. It is m square. If I take out, I have m plus 1 plus if you take 4 out, this is also m plus 1 that is equal to 0. So I can see that I have the factors m plus 1 into m square plus 4 equals to 0. So I have first root m equal to minus 1. Other roots are m square equal to minus 4. So the m is equal to plus or minus i. Root 4 is 2. So 2i. I can see that three roots are there. One is minus 1 which is real and distinct and the second and the third roots are plus or minus 2i complex conjugates. Okay, because of that, I can write the yc is equal to first root is real. So that is a constant into e to the power first root that is minus 1 into x. Then plus there is no real term. So no e to the power directly I can write a constant c2 into this is cos imaginary part that is 2x plus c3 into sine 
uh, sorry, not three, it is two, two X. Okay, call this as equation number one. All right, then uh, after we get YC, now I need to find the YT. That is, To find yp, let us calculate the, let's first write the yp equation. So the yp equation will be yp is equal to the phi of x divided by f of d. In this case, in this particular problem, the yp has to be calculated by using the phi of x, x squared minus 4x minus 6 all divided by this is 4 plus 4d plus d square plus d cube all right let's do the synthetic division 4 plus 4d plus d square plus d cube. I should divide x square minus 4x minus 6. I will write this as x square divided by 4. So I get a x square. 4 times differentiation of uh, x square by 4 is plus 2x. Then double differentiation of x square by 4 is plus this is half. And d cube of that term will be equal to 0. Okay, so this will cancel. So I am left with four, minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6x. So 6 minus half, uh, minus 6 minus half. So minus 6.5 can be written as minus 13 by 2 another term is 0 so now i need to do something using which i get a minus 6x over here so 4 if you multiply 4 with minus say 3x is 12 by 2 so 6 okay i get this now what i do i take 4 times differentiation so 4 into uh, minus 3 by 2, 12 by 2 is, 12, uh, is 6. So this is minus 6. Differentiation of the next term becomes equal to 0. So I am left with minus half. So 4 into, I need to get an answer minus half. So I multiply that by 2 and write. So 4 into 1 by 8. So 4 cancels with 8 as 2 in the denominator. So I get minus half. Answer becomes equal to 0. So you can see the quotient that's the yp. Therefore the yp is equal to uh, this is x to the power 2 by 4 minus 3 times x by 2 minus 1 by 8. So this is what I am going to call as equation number 2. So equation 1 plus 2 is my final answer. Alright. So therefore y is equal to yc plus yp yc is c1 into e to the minus x plus constant uh, cos first root that is 2 times x plus c3 into second uh, this term is a sign of uh, the same term that is 2x then plus i can take something common here you can see the 1 by 8 i will take it out so this that means the first term becomes 2x square uh, if you take 8 outside this is multiplied by 4 so 4 into 3 is 12 so that is minus 12 x uh, the 1 by 8 has gone out so this is minus 1 right this is the final answer okay so I try to solve for as many problems as possible in this session. Uh, I want you to solve 
many more questions from uh, the old question papers and also you can solve some of your exercise problems given in your college okay so you solve them and uh, let me know if you have any doubt i can solve in the upcoming classes all right so see you in the next class